Hi everyone, it's Rebecca at the Flower Room and I am here with another Flower Friday for you. Today we are talking about Baptisia Australis. Now, I know this myself as Baptisia. There are a few flowers that I use that I generally use their scientific name when I'm referring to them, but this is also called Rattlebush, False Blue Indigo, and Wild Blue Indigo. Baptisia is native to North America. The central and eastern parts of North America is very commonly found in the Midwest part of the United States. It's found in meadows along the borders of forests and along stream beds. So it's in the legume family, which is Fabaceae. So it's in the same family with things like peas and beans. And because of that, as this flower goes by, it ends up in kind of like a big capsule, like a pod, like you would see a pea pod or something like that. And those pods are dehiscent, which means that when they are fully ripe, they open on their own in order to disperse those seeds. But this plant does not actually self-seed very well because parasitic weevils get in there before they can drop to the ground and eat them. So most of the time we are going to propagate this asexually. The reason that this is called false blue indigo is because this is used as a substitute for the actual indigo plant when making blue dyes. As well as using this for making a blue dye, Cherokees use false indigo in order to make teas that had a purgative effect on you. So though this plant is not super toxic, it can kind of upset your stomach and it would do the same for cats and dogs. So it's not going to send your pet to the vet necessarily but they probably are not going to feel real good if they eat this. So even though it is in the Fabaceae family and it is related to things that we eat, it is not food. The pods from this were also used to make rattles for children, though I don't recommend that because of the toxicity. You don't want your baby throwing up from eating your rattles. Now today we're specifically talking about Baptisia australis, which is always going to be blue, but there are other colors and other um, species. So some are going to be yellow or almost a pink color, but we can talk about those another day. Thank you so much for watching my Flower Friday. Have a fantastic week and we will see you again next Friday.